the world has become increasingly aware of viruses ever since the coronavirus outbreak in 2020. Whether it is washing hands for 20 seconds or more, whether it's coughing into your elbow or not touching objects, this has become part of our daily routine. What we really need to look at in the diving industry is rental scuba equipment, shared scuba equipment, what is being used from person to person, because fresh water rinsing might not be enough, and it isn't enough. This episode of Beyond the Standard is dedicated totally to the proper disinfecting of rental scuba equipment. It's pretty common in the diving industry that many are just relying on fresh water rinsing of rental equipment after each use instead of disinfecting after each use. That's not good enough, especially in today's virus conscious world. Disinfecting after each use is the way to go. There are two products I highly recommend, Maticide One, for regulators, snorkels, masks, and BCs, anything that has made contact with the respiratory system. And then Odor Away for exposure suits. I'll have links to both of these products in the notes below so that you can purchase these for your dive operations. First, let's look at Maticide One. This is a hospital grade equipment and surface disinfectant. In fact, it is so good that it is a bactericide, a viricide, a fungicide, and a mildew side. There are a couple versions of this. You want the Maticide 1 with the blue label. We have been using this in our Nova Southeastern University academic diving program for over nine years with amazing results. Now, Maticide's directions say to use it at full concentration, and the longer that you allow it to sit on a product, the more viruses get killed. For example, if you were to leave the product on full concentration for 30 seconds, you're going to eliminate rabies virus and novavirus. If you leave it on for one minute, you get rid of HIV virus. If you leave it on for three minutes, you get rid of rotavirus and rhinovirus type 39. And here's the big one. If you leave it on for two minutes or longer, you will be able to get rid of the human coronavirus and SARS-associated coronavirus. If you allow it to stay on for five minutes, you get rid of diarrhea, hepatitis C, and hepatitis B. And if it is left on for 10 minutes or longer, now we're getting rid of hepatitis A, poliovirus type 1, canine parvovirus. That is pretty amazing. But when you use it at full concentration, then you have to rinse it off with fresh water. Now, if you miss that step, then a milky white formation appears and it's too harsh for contact with mouth, nose, and eyes. What we do is make a 9 to 1 solution. That's one part of maticide to nine parts of water. In our case, that's one cup of maticide to nine cups of water. That makes for a nice 10 cups in our Rubbermaid 12 cup, 3 liter container. By the way, that size container is easy to store and it's just the right size to dunk items into. But here's the trick. We're using that ratio because the students will fresh water rinse all their equipment first then they dip the items into the maticide solution and water, our 9 to 1 solution, last. And then we put it in the dive locker and we let it dry with the maticide water solution on it. No rinsing required. 
There is no aftertaste, no smell, or problems with the skin or mucous membranes. This kills everything because of the length of time the maticide solution is on the gear. It's on it for hours, in fact overnight and days. Our program rents every piece of equipment, so we have students disinfect everything. After fresh water rinsing, snorkels go in, masks go in. The whole second stage primary and alternate second stage go in. The BC inflator hose. In fact, anything the mouth has been in contact with. Now, a little bit of maticide goes a long way. One gallon bottle will cost about $54, and a case of four one gallon bottles is about $170. The best part is this will last a long time because your solution works for multiple rinsing sessions. We just put the lid back on the Rubbermaid container and it stays good for several days. Our dive program averages two cups per week. That means one gallon is lasting eight weeks. That's with pool sessions four nights a week and both days of every weekend. Your dive center may be less for your rental equipment use, so your maticide stock will last you a while. With the links below, you can get the one-gallon bottle or you can get a case of four one-gallon bottles. Next up is for your rental exposure suits. You'll want to use Odor Away. Odor Away is not just a good-smelling agent. It's a state-of-the-art, natural, environmentally friendly product specifically formulated for diving, surfing, and water sports communities. Odor Away is a synergetic mixture of special odor-destroying bacteria cultures which biologically eliminates the odors commonly found in neoprene wetsuits, BCDs, and dive skins, including urine, mildew, and other smells. So what we have at our academic diving program is a 100-gallon Rubbermaid trough. Many dive centers have this same thing. We label it wetsuits only, and we have a fill line marked less than halfway, so it's at about 40 gallons. Then we add four cups of odor away to the 40 gallons of water. Now this is slightly less than the instructions say, but when following the instruction of eight ounces per five gallons of water, that is super concentrated and requires rinsing afterwards. Again, by doing our mix, we have students thoroughly rinse their wetsuits inside and out. And while the wetsuit is still inside out from them taking it off, they immerse it and swish it around in the odor away bath. Then they turn it right side out and hang it up. We then put it in the dive locker and let it dry with the odor away solution still on it. Again, this kills everything and the locker smells great. You can find Odor Away online at Amazon, and that link will be below. But if you're a retail dive center, I highly recommend you get this product through Marine Sports Manufacturing. Now, a couple areas in our dive program have changed with respect to the coronavirus, and you might want to do the same. First, for our BCDs, we now add about half a cup of the maticide 1 to 9 mixture in the BC and then add 3 to 5 seconds of fresh water from a hose. Inflate, then mix around, then dump it out. Remember, the BC has exhaled air from the lungs in it, so this is an added precaution. Also, we are now going to single-use mannequins for our CPR and oxygen provider courses. The lungs of the mannequins get contaminated with the first person who exhales into them. And changing the lungs out isn't feasible during the class, especially during two-person CPR training. So now we have one dedicated mannequin for each person taking our courses. Folks, use these disinfecting procedures and tell your students and customers about it. They will appreciate knowing your concern for their health. Also, here's a tip. Notice how we've been saying, have the students do it. Well, this is psychologically very good for your customers. When they play a role in their health and in the health of others, 
There is a buy-in. They feel part of a good effort. Don't think you're doing them a favor by disinfecting all the equipment behind the scenes. Let the students do it for everyone to see that it's getting done properly. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and as always, go beyond the standard.